Hey Loom Knitters, this is Kristen with Good Knit Kisses and I'm so excited to present to you the new Knitting Loom Guide in electronic version as well as this paperback. The Good Knit Kisses Knitting Loom Guide is all the information you need to find the right loom for your project in this easy quick reference guide, electronic and in paperback. Stay tuned for more information. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. Well, everyone, I am so excited about this project. This is the best book, hands down, to find all the information you need for just the right loom for your project. There are over 500 looms here and all the references for gauge and pegs and type and brand and all kinds of things. And I'm really excited uh, to show you everything there is in here. Again, you can get this in paperback or you can get electronic version. It comes out for the 2019 edition, September 10th, 2019. And we will begin to update this yearly as uh, looms are updated and discontinued or added into the marketplace. It has well over five 500 looms with all their categories and gauges and peg counts whether they're adjustable or double knit and we're going to jump right in I'm going to show you everything that's in this book uh, to have it at your fingertips click down on the link below to just jump ahead and get one uh, or um, stay tuned and I'll show you how it works on uh, the ebook as well as in the paperback the knitting loom guide is very small. It fits in the palm of your hand. It's about five and a half by eight and a half inches in uh, width and height. It's very thin, uh, but it's super compact and shows you everything you need to know and you can see it very clearly. If you get the electronic version, of course, you can zoom in and get it even bigger if you have um, visual uh, needs uh, to see it bigger. Um, we've got it in, with tabs in here to find the right section that you need like that, or the electronic version, you can jump around. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the um, paperback version here. So we're just gonna flip on in. We've got our table of contents. These are the things that you'll find in here. Of course, our introduction. Then we talk about the loom materials, the different plastic uh, looms versus wood, and uh, which vendor um, has which product. And so there's some easy uh, lists that are in there. The uh, abbreviations that we use inside this book are here. And now this is not a how-to book for loom knitting, but this has all the looms that you're gonna need to know when say you're converting a pattern over, uh, say you uh, get a pattern and you wanna find the loom that they're calling out, uh, see if you have the right one, or if you're just a collector. Uh, here we've got it sorted by brand, and uh, this is on page six. And when I jump over to page six here, you can see this section that starts all this little tab, this little gray tab. This is every loom by brand. So we've got boy looms, Cindy Wood looms, uh, we've got uh, cottage looms, DA looms, this is a discontinued line, but it's still there for uh, the people who have that out there. Darice, Hor uh, Horizon, In the Attic, Flexi looms, Kiss looms, uh, Nifty Knitter, Knitting Board or KB Looms or Authentic Knitting Board, Knit UK, Leisure Arts, Martha Stewart, Lion Brand, Loops, which is Michael Stores, a Noble Knitter, Yarnology, which is Hobby Lobby, and then we jump over to Looms by Gauge. So let me go back over here. Uh, here's some of these um, showing the plastic looms, wood-based looms, uh, if you've got plastic and wood, um, the knitting board looms, which ones are um, uh, all uh, plastic, 100% plastic, and which ones are wood base. Uh, there's those abbreviations. Okay, so we've got, um, go back to table contents, uh, we've got sorted by gauge as well, where we've got extra fine looms all by themselves. So if you just need to find an extra fine gauge loom, which is also called an EFG, you can find all of them together. Uh, also goes for fine gauge looms, small gauge, regular gauge, uh, large gauge, extra large gauge, and jumbo. And then we have it sorted for adjustable looms. So here's all these uh, right here where it says gauge and it's sorted by the gauge. And then it jumps over to adjustable looms only. So these are looms that you can, uh, something like uh, here where you've got a little adjuster here. Um, also one like this, uh, it has like a little slider and you can adjust it inward. And Here's, here's an example of one of these charts. So what you're getting to see when you see these looms are which gauge it is, the um, spacing in inches, 
which brand the loom name, the peg count, and the color, and that's just on adjustable looms. And then we go through um, every single one in order of their gauge size. So the smallest gauge, which has the most stitches per inch, all the way to the largest gauge in adjustable looms, and uh, then which would actually have less stitches per inch. And then we jump over to double knitting looms. And these looms are the ones that have pairs of pegs. And you can um, say, say like this one, uh, this loom right here, uh, you can actually put a spacer in and it becomes a double knit loom like one of these where you're working back and forth in pairs of pegs, okay? Uh, these can do that as well, as well as these nifty knitter ones that you see in here. And so they're all listed here and you can see how many pairs of pegs and the range, like the minimum amount you can get uh, and all the way to the max in that particular uh, line. And it just keeps going. Also tells you um, what color it is or if it's just a wood base or MDF base loom. And also it's in order of gauge. Now it doesn't count the spacing. It's just counting, uh, it doesn't count the spacing uh, between the boards, but it is showing the spacing between the pegs. And then uh, the next thing after uh, adjustable and double knitting looms is the loom gauge equivalence chart. This is like the super, super handy chart that we've created. Uh, so you can see all these uh, gauges. You're like, Kristen, I don't know what that is. Well, extra fine gauge uh, is showing the spacing between the pegs is 3 16ths of an inch. That gets you seven to eight stitches per inch. So um, these are the different types of looms there are. Uh, a lot of your medium weight yarn uses uh, small gauge looms and they also are called SG and these are the spacings that you can see from manufacturers and you get about four to five stitches per inch. Now, of course, that ranges on your stitch pattern and things like this. This is just average stock and net, which is all knits. And then it goes up to large gauge, extra large gauge and jumbo and uh, it has all the um, peg spacing in between and average stitches per inch. And then here is the loom gauge with recommended yarn weight. And uh, so if you've got an EFG loom, then you would use this kind of weight in the US, or if you're in the UK or Australia, then you would use this weight and so on for each of the levels. And then this chart back here is if you're converting something, say you've got a needle pattern, and it says that um, you wanna use a US size eight needle, then you're gonna look at this and say, okay, US eight to 10 needles, I'm gonna use a regular gauge or RG loom and I'm gonna come over here and find my RG loom, and I need a half inch or 9 sixteenths in spacing. And you can even confirm, it may even say how many stitches per inch they got, and it could be in that three to four range, uh, and uh, you can kind of gauge it from there. So it's super handy. Uh, let me go back here. So that's, that's really the layout of the book. Um, let's go dig in a little bit deeper. Whenever I go to gauge, um, we sort the looms by gauge, and then you get another one of these little charts here. But at the top of each gauge, you can find um, the EFG again, the C to C spacings that are available, and then you can also see the yarn weights that are recommended in US and UK, Australia, the needle size, and also a crochet hook, because sometimes you might want a crochet border or um, there's a hook size that usually corresponds with the needle size when you're looking at particular yarn, so that's what that is. And then how many average stitches per inch, and that's for each one. So this is EFG, and this is um, fine gauge looms, that which is FG, and then we've got small gauge, and so on and so on. And that's everything that you have in the book. So um, if you, uh, so like, <laughs> On the back here, I've got it written really well. It says, need to find a large gauge loom with at least 30 pegs. Okay, you can we can help you find it. Want to know which looms are adjustable? Want to know which ones are double knit? Uh, on any fine gauge, you can find it right here in this book. Let's jump over to the Eve version. I'll show you how that works. So in this electronic version, you can see I've opened it right up and it just works just like a book where I flip the pages. Let me flip it one by one. And if I go to the contents page, I can just click on the area that I want. If I want to see all the small gauge looms by gauge, I can just click right there and it will jump over to that part. Okay, so now I'm on that page and you can see that um, I've got everything I need. If I need to zoom in, you can see me zoom in. Also, you can see on both the um, on the paperback version and on the electronic version, you can see these grayed out portions. 
those are discontinued looms. So we went ahead and just included them in here because many of them are still found on the marketplace. So even if the looms get discontinued and they've been on the market before, um, we've gone ahead and included them. They're usually looms that you could find everywhere in the world or most places in the world. Um, some of the really small vendors that uh, don't sell anymore, we're not really showing them. Uh, but DA looms we included and some other ones because they were popular at one point and you can still find them. So anyway, you can find everything that you need in this book as it comes to looms. And uh, I really hope that you'll pick up one. Be sure and uh, click down below and let us know how excited you are. And um, be sure and uh, click in that description to get your copy. Again, they come out on September 10th of 2019. They're on pre-order right now in paperback and they'll, the ebook will be ready on September 10th. Hope you have a great day and happy loom knitting.